Jones. And taking the score on to 70. Lovely shot from short term and Crow playing that beautifully. In fact, in these other 10 runs, Grant's be the leading run scorer in the World Cup in this competition. Uh, it's still the brisk and all of it. Uh, but sure, an excellent shot. And he had to perfection. Yes, although it was a bit of a gimme, Crow still had to put it away and put it in the gap, but he certainly did so. Short and wide, very controlled by Crow. Using the pace of it, clipping it just wide of that man uh, in a deep gully position. Martin Crow, Andrew Jones, of course, Mark Rapex, all a wonderful touch. But here we are, there's the 100 partnership up between these two. Wonderful effort. So back, with, back live, Martin Crow just clipping it away behind square. Philip DeFreitas does the field there. So things pretty well under control, although Jones is out. Crow's there on 49 now. Yep. Oh, here's the 50 for Martin Crow. He's dropping it down in front of him, racing through. And Martin Crow getting a bit down from the Basin Reserve crowd. Another great contribution to this World Cup. What a phenomenal record he has had in this World Cup. And when you compare it to what went on earlier in the summer against England, Crow's transformation has gone hand in hand with the transformation of the New Zealand side. It's been inspiring some, and it's his fault. Yes, yes. One run to Ken Rutherford, he's underway. They've outplayed the Poms just as they've outplayed every side they've come across in this competition. It's been quite remarkable. But Martin Crow smacks that one down the ground. Interesting looking shot, but he pressed it. He banged it down just wide of the bowler on the on side. And it raced down there to long on for four. It was a bit bottom handed. It wasn't like those lovely pure drives you used to produce. But um, it's one of those days when everything's going for him. <laughs> He knew exactly what he was doing. He placed it beautifully and hit it for ball. Martin Crow goes over the top again. And he's hit this one pretty well. And one, two bounces into the boundary down there at Long Island. So there we are. Maybe a little worried about the rain arriving. One, eight, three, for three. Let's take a look at the worms. The run rate shows New Zealand comfortably ahead. And New Zealand now just 11 runs away from winning. 201 is their target. They're 189 at the moment. The New Zealand team up on the uh, players' balcony looking very content. Looked at one stage earlier this morning as England were heading for a good total. 230, 240, even more. Now to Freitas, 41st over. Great pace in the way. Lovely shot. And four runs. Yes, well, looks like Martin Crow wants to get the match over in the 41st over. I suppose the early shower is always the warmest. So why stay out there any longer than you have to? And really got onto that one very well. Chris Lewis having no chance of cutting that one off. Crow goes for it, and this could be it. Sailing out to the fence, and New Zealand have beaten England here at the Basin Reserve by seven wickets and remain unbeaten at the Benson and Hedges World Cup. Another marvellous batting performance from New Zealand and the victory achieved by seven wickets with one ball left in the 41st over. Wright went early but then Great Batch did the job again. Today making 35 and that work was carried on by Andrew Jones run out today for 78 and Martin Crow there at the end for 73 and Ken Rutherford with him. New Zealand thoroughly convincing winners. England had their bowling problems. Pringle couldn't complete his seventh over. He was injured. De Freitas was expensive, but then he's had a hamstring injury recently as well. Both of them took one wicket, but he went for nearly five runs per over. Ellingworth did go for five. Graham Hick bowled usefully enough, but really too expensive.